guys. So today I've got the long awaited nose contouring tutorial. I've been promising and promising this video for you guys for like the last couple of weeks. I had it all filmed, had it all edited, and then I don't know where it went. It just completely disappeared off my hard drive. So here I am filming it again. Today is Thursday and this is going live tonight. So I'm gonna have to be super speedy filming this, then edit it and then get it up for you guys. So there's a lot of rumors and I have a lot of people accusing me of getting a nose job. Like people are so certain that I'm lying about having a nose job. Guys, if I had a nose job, right, I want a refund because that was a waste of money. My nose is a complete same that it's always been. It's still like, I've still got quite a wide bridge. Like it kind of like droops down. But it's all good guys. I'm learning to love my nose. I used to absolutely hate my nose, especially when I was younger. I feel like it just didn't fit my face. But as I've gotten older, I don't know, has my head gotten bigger or what? But I feel like my nose just fits me a little bit better now. I still don't really love my nose, hence why I contour it. But I'm still trying to learn to love it because I really don't want to get a nose job because that would be really sore and like very expensive. So I've got quite a wide bridge, like literally the bone bone up here is super strong and hard and wide and my nose also I don't know if you guys can see it kind of like tilts off to this side so it's not symmetrical and this nostril is higher than this nostril so yeah when I contour my nose I try and like make it look like it's straight and a little bit thinner in the bridge area. My favorite noses, this is gonna sound so weird, but I do have favorite noses. I love Rihanna's nose, how her nose kind of like flicks. And I also love my mum's nose. My mum has the most perfect nose I've ever seen on any human ever. I didn't get it. <laughs> I think I got my great granddad's nose, to be honest. Here's a picture. What do you guys think? Okay, right guys, I'm gonna use the Kevin Aquan sculpting powder in the color light. This is so bloody expensive. It's extortionate, but it's really good. If you don't wanna spend the money on that, get this in Instead. This is the Balms Bahama Mama bronzer. They're not too dissimilar. Well, I mean, this one's a lot lighter, but otherwise they're not too dissimilar color-wise. This one's a heck of a lot cheaper. I have a little thing that I can't fully show you guys yet. I can show you that much. <laughs> so this is going to be coming out in the next few months, and this is going to be including something you can use for your nose contour. I'm sorry, guys. I hate myself and I can't tell you what it is, but I also can't not tell you anything because I'm so excited about it. So yeah, what is in my eyeball? So I'm going to switch my lenses around. I'm going to put my super zoomy lens on. One sec. Got it. Wow, that's, that's up close. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can't see any nose hairs. I actually did trim my nose hairs this morning in preparation for this video. So the brush I'm going to use is this one. It's the E27 from Sigma. There we go. So it's like the E25, but it's smaller. But you can use any brush you want, but you kind of want something that's like a little bit dense, a little bit firm. You don't want like a full on blending brush because you need to kind of like carve out a new nose shape. <laughs> so the first thing that I do is I get a little bit of contour powder on my brush. So what I want to do is I like to make the tip of my nose look like it goes up. Like a kind of ski slope nose, which I don't have naturally. My nose, especially when I laugh or smile, see my nose kind of like points down. I like to contour it in a way that makes this part of my nose look like shadow and not nose. What I do is I put two little curvy marks under the tip of my nose like this. So you want to press super, super lightly because you don't want this to be like harsh or obvious if you can help it. So I don't know, can you guys see, see that little, like, it looks like a little shadow now. So it looks like that side of the tip of my nose is higher. But that's the tip started. So now when I smile, it kind of like, see before that was all like nose colored. Now it's shadow colored. So when I smile, it looks like my nose doesn't curve down as much. This is so hard to explain, what the hell? I slim down the bridge of my nose. So see, it's the bridge of my nose actually goes out to here because it's really wide, which is handy in that my nose never breaks, no matter if I fall over or get smacked in the face with a ball, it survives. But I want to make my nose look probably about that wide. You're gonna draw two lines down the side of your nose basically, but you've gotta be careful because if you draw the lines too far apart, you're gonna actually widen the look of your nose, which kind of defeats the purpose of contouring it in the first place. And if you draw them too close together, no one's nose is naturally that thin, so then it looks really kind of odd. So you wanna, I say probably a good width is maybe like a brush apart or like your pinky apart, I don't know. Another thing guys is the bridge on this side of my nose. I don't know how to explain this, but it kind of goes out more like it's not, I don't know, did I break my nose when I was a kid or what? My nose is totally skew with. So this side 
of my bridge actually goes out further that way. So when I'm contouring it, I've got to be really careful that I don't let my brush follow the shape of the bridge of my nose because then it will make my contour line go woo and then back in, which looks weird. So I've got to literally go over the top of the bone of the bridge of my nose to make sure that it's super straight. So I go in further than I would think I need to right here. I don't know if this is even making sense you guys if you have any questions leave them down below and I'm gonna be like after I edit this and upload it tonight I'm just gonna be hanging around to answer you guys questions in the comments so feel free to let me know if you have any questions okay so there's my lines done I also like to put like a little bit of shading just up here to make like my nose doesn't really start to here but I like to shade up to my eyebrows these days to kind of elongate the look of my nose so it looks less stubby so there we go, so that's my two lines on, right? Then what I do, I go in with a highlight. Again, in this thing that's gonna be launching in the next couple of months, all these products are being taken care of for you. I don't know, maybe I can show like a tiny little bit more. There we go, that's what I can show you. So for now, the highlight I'm gonna go in with is my favorite from Ofra. This is the Ofra Rodeo Drive Highlight. That's what it looks like. So the brush I'm gonna use for this is the Sigma Domed Utility E34 brush. And what I'm gonna do is I put it directly onto the tip of my nose, but not the actual tip of my nose, because the actual tip of my nose is like way down here. But because I'm trying to make my nose look like it turns up, the point of putting highlight on is that the highlight will catch the light and reflect. So I wanna put that higher than the natural tip of my nose, so that when the light hits it and reflects, it makes the tip of my nose look higher. I don't know if this is making sense. So instead of putting the highlight on the actual tip of my nose, I'm putting it way up here. See what I mean? So when I smile now, it's starting to look a bit thinner. Then I go up onto the bridge of my nose, but I completely ignore this area here. So I don't want to put any highlight here because I want my nose to look like it's got that kind of ski slope flick. That would kind of make this area naturally be in shadow. So I'm going to put my highlight here and up here but not in here. And also, you want your highlight on the bridge of your nose to be super thin. If you make it like, if you put too much by accident and you start making like a wide strip of highlight, that's going to highlight the width of your nose, which will make your nose look wider, which is fine if that's the look that you're going for. Like if you want to widen the look of your nose, I actually want to thin out my nose. So I want to make a super thin highlight stripe down the middle of my nose. Then what I do, <laughs> I swear it doesn't actually take this long guys, it's only taking this long because I'm trying to explain as I go. I go back in with E27 and my contour powder and I'm doing like a little shadow here to give it that ski slope effect. So what I do for this, I do like an X. Okay, now that's pretty much where you can leave it. Like I think that's a fine nose contour in itself. However, <laughs> I go in with freckles because freckles are life. I have been doing this right since I was literally in high school. For my year 12 school picture, I drew on fake freckles on the bridge of my nose because somehow that made my nose look thinner. I think it's like, I don't know, something about the freckles on that wide bridge of my nose somehow makes it look thinner. So I'm gonna do that now as well. I bought this stuff the other day, Freck. Okay, that was a thick one. See how much thinner my nose looks just from those freckles? Don't ask me how it does it, but it does do something. So you can compare it with the before and after when I smile, right? It doesn't look like it's got that like super curved pointy downy look to it. And from the front when I smile, which is when it really widens itself, it looks a lot slimmer, I think. Okay guys, so that is what I do to contour my nose. I don't know, can you guys like see a big difference? If I was to get a nose job, this is the kind of like nose shape I would want. I just think it like looks good on my face, I don't know. Then this is it from the other side where my nostril goes up naturally. This is what it looks like from the front. And then this is what it looks like from my good side. So I'll leave this video here, guys. I've got to run and edit this now so I can get it up for you tonight. I really hope that was helpful for you. If you enjoyed this in-depth makeup tutorial, give it a thumbs up just so I know. Because I kind of feel like people don't really watch makeup tutorials or like in-depth makeup tutorials anymore. I'll put the products that I used in the description box down below. If I have any discount codes, I'll put them down there as well. Thanks guys for watching. I love your guts. I'll see you on Monday night um, for a new video. Bye.